Okay, hello, my name is Christy, and we're going to go ahead and get tonight's webinar started. There may be a few people just join us a little bit later. Um, this webinar will be available for um, a link that we'll email to you uh, later on so that we can get you a copy. Um, so first of all, I'm going to start out with what we're going to cover over in this webinar. Uh, not to dredge your IFTA, create your first quarter IFTA report today, and we're going to get started again. My name is Christy Camp, and I am one of the team members on Truckologix. Our webinar overview for tonight is we're going to go over how to create your account with the IFTA only option. We're going to do that from beginning to filling out your or if the report, including the data entry and report generation, uh, report generation. And then afterwards, we'll have a small Q&A so that if you have any questions, you can raise your hand or and I can unmute you. And Amber is also in our chat and she will assist us as well. So what is IFTA? IFTA is the International Fuel Tax Agreement, a tax collection agreement by, by and among the 48 contiguous states and 10 Canadian provinces bordering the U.S. Streamlines fuel tax payment process because it used to be that each state required the drivers to file the IFTA report in each individual state. This makes streamlining the fuel tax payment process easier by one jurisdiction, one tax return filed for each quarter with one under your base jurisdiction and one payment or one refund per quarter. And we are going to show you how to do this live. I will be switching over so your screens may go black. Do not uh, panic, it's not te technical difficulties. I'm just switching screens, so hold on one moment. Here you'll see the sign in page of Trucklogix. Our banner is showing our webinar that's going on currently right now. So let's close our banner. And to get to our if the only option, you'll need to hover over solutions. Go to if the reporting. Let's get started with Trucklogix to generate your if the report. And then you're presented with the uh, account creation page. You can either create a business owner account for a single business, or if you're a service provider and you're managing multiple clients businesses, you would create this account. For tonight, we're going to create a business owner account, and you'll start by entering your email, a password if you're choosing, your contact name, and your phone number. Then you'll click sign up. After clicking sign up, you're presented with two options to generate your if the report for the business owner uh, only for $24.95, or you can sign up for our complete TMS platform. We'll go over in later on how to generate your if the report through the TMS platform uh, shortly after we find, uh, finalize the if the report in our if the only. So we're going to start with the if the only report by selecting select. You'll need to enter a, your business name, your business's address. Start typing the address and Google has graciously powered uh, by Google to enter the address for us. And then you'll need to select your base jurisdiction and whether it's in the U.S. or Canada. So uh, we're here in Rock Hill, South Carolina. So we're going to enter South Carolina and our account number, your IFTA account number which if you do not have an IFTA account number, you would need to obtain that by your, uh, from your local jurisdiction. Uh, and let's go. So we have created our account. It has our, our IFTA dashboard, shows our business details, our base jurisdiction, and how many trucks that we have to file for. Currently we don't, so we'll need to add our trucks. You're given three options to uh, add those. You can data entry from manually. Uh, you can import your truck information from your motive, formerly keep trucking. Or if you have an express truck tax, our sister product, you can import your trucks from that truck zone to this truck zone. But we're gonna enter these manually for tonight. So you'll enter your truck number. Make sure that it states include for ifting. Even if you import 
from a different source, you may need to go back in and edit this section to make sure it is included for IFTA reporting. Select the type of fuel that you want and the gross vehicle weight. We're semi, so we're just going to say 75,000 plus and save. Click back onto your if the dashboard after you've entered all your trucks in your truck zone and start your return. You're going to be asked a few more questions about your sign in authority, so you'll need to enter that as well. Make sure you also select whether you want to enter gallons and miles or liters and kilometers. We're going to leave ours on the default of gallon and my, gallons and miles. And since this is my company, I am the sign in authority and we will enter my name and my phone number and my title, which is going to be owner. And then we'll save and continue. Uh, just a quick note, this customer number and licensing number, it's here. If you have it, you can enter that, but it's not required to continue on with this program. Only what is asterisk with a red asterisk, okay? So we'll hit save. And now we're ready to start our return. So let's click start return. Enter the trucks that we want to file our IFTA for. Your, yours may have two or three or 10 or 100. You can do one, you can do all 100, but you're going to be presented with three options on how to enter this data. So we're going to, you have bulk upload. You would need to download our template. Um, please note that if you download and use our template, you cannot rename our template. And there are some drop box, down boxes for our state and um, I think fuel. So you will need to use the drop down boxes provided in the template. Do not change the headers or any information that is already in the template so that it will import correctly. You also have a quick entries method and then you can pull from your EOD motive. Um, formally keep trucking. So for this demonstration, we're just going to enter uh, quick entry entries. You'll need to click on if you want to change after you've um, selected quick entries, you can just say I want to change my method and choose a, a different method. We're going to stick with quick entries and we're going to select quick entries. Uh, you have each month of the quarter broken down January, February, March of the first quarter. You can do it by odometer. You will need your start odometer and your end ending odometer. Or if you know your distance totals, you can just enter the distance. So we're going to start our trip for our truck on January 1st in South Carolina. And we're going to enter our total distance of 500 miles for that day. We were trucking it. So our total gallons. 100. These may not represent your IFTA report. This is just for dem demonstration purposes. So are there no way meaning that this is the amounts that you should enter. So we're going to select another day. We went to North Carolina this time. So the system will automatically pull the joining states around South Carolina to make it easy for you. So we're going to do North Carolina. We went 300 miles in North Carolina and we purchased 75 gallons. You're going to continue on to each day of the month for all the dates and the trips of this truck and for each month in the quarter. Or if you want, you can enter, go to the last quarter, uh, month of the quarter and enter everything on the last day. Let's do the 30th. All the totals for South Carolina for the entire quarter. This is entirely up to you. We did 2000 for the whole quarter and we bought 200 gallons of fuel in South Carolina. The more detailed your uh, IFTA report is, the better it would be for your record keepings and in case of an audit. Also, if you enter all your data here, uh, if you if there is happens to be a split rate, the, those would not be accounted for. So we got to select our state of North Carolina and we did 1500 for the quarter. And then we bought 150 gallons. Once you have entered all the data for 
all your trucks and your states that you travel, you can then click save and continue. This will give you an overview. And if there are any, you can hit the positive to, over, to check your entries. And if there are any corrections that need to be made, you would have to go back into the quick entries and make those edits. So we're gonna hit next. We're presented with the IFTA summary, which is again, you can open it up and look how many miles that you did in total and what your miles per gallon are. So we'll click next. Then you're presented with your IFTA tax due. Uh, since our tax is in our parentheses, that means we have a credit. If you had a credit from a previous quarter, you can add it here, or you can request a refund or carry this credit forward to your next one as well. And we don't want the state writing us a 63 cent check, so we're going to carry that forward. You're presented with your summary. It tells you the company that you're filing for, your IFTA details with your base jurisdiction, your IFTA account, and what quarter you're filing for. And it gives you the total of your miles and your total fuel, your miles per gallon, and then again, the breakdown of what this balance do or your credit. And then you would proceed to click next. The system does a general uh, overview of uh, error check of the trip sheets and your fuel entries. No errors were found. So we're going to continue with next. Here you're presented with the payment page. It's $24.95. Once you enter your payment uh, by your credit card, you will then be able to download your IFTA report that you can then file with your local jurisdiction. And this is what the payment screen would look like. You would need to enter your credit card information. Just one moment and I'll show you what your IFTA looks like. So don't go anywhere and I'll show you what the form is. Your screen will turn black for a second. Just one moment. Here you will see what your generated IFTA report looks like. You would be able to print this out since our jurisdiction was South Carolina. It's going to tell us how much we owe, step-by-step -step instructions of who to write the check and running order out to, your IFTA identification number, what quarter you filed for, where to mail it to, and then it also gives you a breakdown of your IFTA and where each column, the jurisdiction, and the states that you had uh, reported fuel and miles in. And then once you print this off and mail it in, you are done with your first quarter. So now we're going to go to our full TMS platform so that I can show you how easy it is to file your IFTA report within your TruckLogix account for your full TMS platform. It's very similar. Uh, there have been a couple of little changes to make improvements, but they're all for the best. So once you log into your, Express, your um, TruckLogix account, you'll see your dashboard here. You would then click on your IFTA module tab and if you're already a TruckLogix client with a full TMS platform, your data would be entered already, or you, you would be presented with the same screens as the IFTA only file. You would need to enter your IFTA, your trucking company name, the address, your IFTA base jurisdiction, IFTA account number, you would need to add trucks and so on. So we're going to continue. We're going to file for our truck within our TruckLogix account. It's just kind of the same platform, only this time we're not going to use a uh, quick entry. We're going to change and try to do a bulk upload. Bulk upload is that you would need to download our template again. It's the same as if the only option, but you cannot change any of the headers or the drop downs. Just fill in all the required data. Once your file is uploaded, you'll see this little X and then hit upload. You'll see that we had 11 records. You would continue with your import. Six of our records imported successfully and five did not. Now, the reason mine did not is because I had an extra truck on my 
import option and it would show you that but since we have with the one truck we're going to continue with it and here you'll see the imported data for truck one that i did you can drop down and see all of the states that were imported off of that template once you agree with it you will need you can click uh, next but if you need to make any changes or any corrections you would have to correct it on the template or change your method by changing our method here it's going to wipe out our entry but we don't want to do that at this time because our information is correct so if it's incorrect or you don't agree with it you're going to have to uh, correct the original source your spreadsheet or your trip sheets within your uh, dispatches. If you're importing from uh, Keep Trucking, you would need to make sure that the data that is importing from Keep Trucking is correct and then re-upload. So we agree with our, our miles and gallons and we're gonna click next. Again, you're given an IFTA summary. You can review it one more time for your total distance and your total fuel and continue by hitting next. Then you're presented with this if the tax due again. If you have a late fee or if you filed late for a quarter, that would be presented on this page as well. Since we have another credit, we're going to carry that forward. Or you can, if you had a, you can have the state issue you a refund and they would mail you a check. We're going to hit next and continue. You're presented with another summary of your trucking company's details, your if the details and your tax summary breakdown again, and that is in parentheses, meaning you have a credit due. We're gonna click next. It's gonna audit the report and no errors were found. So we're click next to generate our report. Within the truck logics account, you do not have to pay to proceed. It is free with the IFTA only. I mean, it's not free with the if the only if the only you pay twenty four ninety five within your truck logics account. You pay the uh, with that is included with your subscription. You would then download the if the generated return, and I'll show you that again. I'm going to switch screens. There's nothing wrong. Just one moment. And again, you'll see the same format as if the in the if the only. And it's, it's the same information is provided, who to make your check out to, where to mail it to, and then the breakdown of the IFTA summary by the state and the field that you had entered. Not only with uh, Truck Logics do you get the IFTA only, if you have the full TMS platform, you can do much more than just your IFTA only. And I will quickly go over that, that just a moment. So with our full TMS platform, this is your dashboard and you can see that you can generate loads, dispatches. Within your dispatches, you can assign your drivers, do their driver settlement. Then you can have your accounts for your income transactions, expense transactions, invoices, and driver settlements so that you can pay your drivers. You have an email log of all your transactions that for your invoices and your um, driver settlements that are sent. Your address book will show your drivers, your customers. Your documents are on a Google Cloud and is unlimited storage. Truck zone where you can enter your equipment, schedule maintenance, and assign your driver's preferences. If your drivers have uh, a preferred truck, you can set that here. And of course, your IFTA module that we just went over, and we can view our return that we just uh, filed download or modify. If you modify the return, that means you're going to make corrections on that return. And then we TruckLogix also offers several reports that if you're utilizing the full TMS platform by create by filling out your dispatches and your trip sheets and entering your expenses for fuel, these profit and loss reports are very beneficial for year end taxes, your driver payment reports, and you have several if the reports as well. We also integrated with the DAT load board and several other integrations as well. So it is more beneficial to utilize the
full TMS platform over the IFTA only module. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you simply file your IFTA report with TruckLogix. Are there any questions at this time? Christy, I do see that we have one question from Lovey, and I have unmuted her as well. And so if you um, are able to unmute yourself, you can ask your question uh, live on the air. Yes, I'm sorry. I My computer went out just as you were doing the quick entry stuff, and I'm not sure what you had done as far as entering um, the... Um, what was the, the gas and the mileage? Is there right. any, can you, once we go finish the uh, program itself, can you please go back over that again for me? Oh, uh, this is webinar, that, yeah. Yeah, I, I understand. This webinar will be uh, available for download or we can email it to you so that you can review it at your leisure. Um, okay. But it's simply the quick entries are where you entered by state you would enter by distance and your miles, and then you would proceed to the next screen. Um, no, is that entering the total miles per, per state? Yes, you can do it that way. Okay. Um, okay, thank you. You're very welcome. This looks like there's another question. What is the cost for service providers to offer their services for trucking companies? Are you meaning the um, the IFTA only is $19.95 for service providers? If you uh, do the service provider for the full TMS platform, it would be the rate at which the individual package is, which for owner operators start at $9.95 a month. Small fleet starts at $29.95 a month. Medium fleet is $49.95, starts at $49.95 a month. And then the large fleet, meaning 15 plus trucks, starts at uh, $69.95. You're very welcome, Pilar. Thank you for joining us tonight. So are there any more questions? Okay, so we have some upcoming webinar series. The next week uh, we will be doing uh, Simplify Your Trucking Operations, All About Drivers, Dispatches, and Deliveries. Uh, May 10th and 12th, we'll be Dispatching Made Easy, Create, Modify, and Delete. And Route Management, uh, May 17th and 19th, and How to Route Your Drivers in Three Simple Steps. And on May 24th and 26th, we'll pay your drivers with ease with driver settlements with truck logics. And as always, there are two great options to choose from, our if the only platform and our full trucking management business. Uh, so if you have any questions, you can go to trucklogics.com today. Get signed up for our free 15-day trial of our full trucking management software. And to get in touch with us, we're available Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time at 704 Two three four six nine four six by email at support at trucklogics.com. We also have live chat during our same our normal business hours. And please follow us on all our social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitter, and I mean TikTok and YouTube. Okay, it looks like there are no more questions. I really appreciate everybody uh, joining. And if you do have any questions about support, don't hesitate to reach out to us. And look forward to seeing you next week at our next webinars. Have a great night, everyone. Bye-bye.